Radiance here. Recently I implemented nested filters for the habits page on increaser.org. This video will guide you through creating similar interfaces using React and the tree data structure. You can find both the demo and the source code in the description. Initially, we need to define a type for our tree node. It will be a generic type usable for any kind of data and only contains two fields. Value and children. Value is a generic type T and children is an array of tree nodes. To locate a specific node, we will traverse the tree to the desired node using the getTreeNode function. The path is an array of number with each number being the index of the child node. To retrieve all the values of a given node, we will employ the getTreeValues function. This function returns an array of values of the specific node and all its children. We can now define our tree of habits. The data of a node will be represented by the habit tree node value, which contains an ID for the habit category, such as health, relationships, or work. This also has an optional array of habit IDs and an optional color. For instance, the happiness category doesn't have its own habits. Instead, it's in a combination of other habits defined in the children field. Following this, we find a list of habits that aren't aware they're being used in a tree. They are only a list of unique habit IDs and information about them, which includes emoji name and description. With React, we can now implement our nested filters. The present category is stored as an array of numbers in the use state hook. The happiness category will be an empty array, the health category will be an array with zero, the sleep category will be an array of two zeros, and so forth. Using the getTreeValues function, we'll obtain all the habits in the tree. Every habit has a color tag, but not all have a color field defined. It's only present at the category level. So we'll use the getCategoriesColors to get a record of category IDs and their colors. It's a recursive function that assigns the color of the parent category to each children if they don't have their own color defined. To get the current node, we use the getTreeNode function. Some habits may be present in more than one category. For instance, the habit view sunlight after waking up is in both the sleep and productivity category. We don't want to display it twice, so we remove duplicates with the without duplicates function. Then we add a list of tags to each unique habit. The tags represent the categories to which the habits belong. We use the category color record to fetch the color of the category. To display the habits, we pull from the habits array and exploit the habit item component. The generic tree filter component is what will depend on to filter the habits. Its props extend the generic input props which consists of value and on change props. In this case, the value will be the path to the node. We must also pass the entire tree to the component and a function that will render the name of the node. As we are rendering a tree structure, we can't avoid recursion. In the recursive render function, we check if the current node is selected by comparing the value prop with the path argument. We then apply different style to the filter item based on the air selection stat. We also update the color of the item when it's hovered by changing the hovered state. The handle with stop propagation function is used to prevent the click event from bubbling up to the parent element. We render the children of the node within the content component which indent them from the parent with a 20 pixel margin on the left side. As we don't want to render the content component when there are no children, we use a small helper component called non-empty only to render the children only if they exist. Become an effective 10x programmer with my productivity app at increaser.org.